going to not perform well yeah. in game number two, but the, I mean, that just... I think after seeing that previous game... Empire running a safe lane try. Fidget blocks off a few of these heroes. Empire have four up here, but I'm not sure if they want to fight this. Arc Lightning doing good damage. Aloha Dance getting low, and they're going to look to right click down the bench. First blood going to go onto your bench. Wind Ranger picks up the bounty rune. Gobs. Yeah. Six. Dyer's bottom okay. tower. Is chill. Bottom lane. Artez going to turn and bounce, but misses that one. Looking to secure this T1 and gets a nice dark pack off the magic missile. But that means the tower. Denied by your visage. Top lane's still standing though, and that's actually Yes. And in the meantime, resolution focus firing down that mid lane tower. There's your draw aura, and Zeus is gonna try to do what he can as far as denies go, but I don't imagine resolution will let him get away with this one. There we go, finishes off, gets the last hit, wind runs out of there. Dread actually gets him with the fissure, blink in, sonic wave, resolution goes down. Nice play from HR to get a kill at least. Has his way. Some familiars as well. Maybe pinging his team, telling him, let's come clean up some of these, but. Into a low high dance. There's your vision to start things off. Artez pounces over it. The swap out. Artez needs to shadow dance. Gets out with the help of a grave. It looks like Zeus, meanwhile. Ulti's to help out a buddy. And Yoki, shadow strike will tick him down. No way out for him. That's four on the sidelines. Resolution may make it five. Hellraiser's just trouncing Empire at this point. Couldn't even get a pounce off. Your Wind Ranger died. Oh, they want to chase, though. No, they're looking for the bat rider. Yoki is just going to go for the age to snipe, I think, here. Firefly wears off, though. He's lost vision. He's being pinged out. He flicks out, and this is disaster. Pit. Oh, my God. That echo slam from Dread. Without an echo slam, we'll just blink in with a totem and a fissure. Uses himself. Antes silence, taking heavy damage here. Could be in trouble. Pounce available soon. Queen of Pain cleans up. It's always going to fly with a triple kill, but he's going to go down, and it's GG. Empire get team wipe. Hellraisers upset. Two of the worst Roche fights you could ever imagine for. Like the first one, especially, because that's that's what you snowball. If you get that first Roche with a draw lineup, you snowball and just go from tower to tower. It, it just it seemed like the Roshan Gambit has paid off too many times for them, that they got so comfortable, like, okay, we can just take it in 15 yeah. seconds. And HR was there each time for those 15 seconds that they could have taken Roshan and just obliterated them in the pit. I mean, that second Rosh, they were bringing it down so incredibly mm. fast, but Zeus was ready, Slark just was more than willing to jump in. Urshay going for a blind blink echo slam. Whew. It's like, as soon as, as soon as the drought was missing for like yeah. 10 seconds, even they would just check the pit. I mean, maybe if they vary it up a little bit, maybe if he goes into the jungle and farms a little bit and then they just waste their time around Roche, then they can sneak it in. But Empire, again, too predictable in their play and will cause them an early exit. The CIS carnage living up to its name. We've seen some very high octane games, some huge team fights, Earthshakers, Magnuses, you name it. Rampages all over the place. Guys, you're watching the Red Bull Battlegrounds Dota 2. I'm Gods, he's Merlin. Follow the action over at RedBullBattlegrounds.com. But for now, we're taking a break. When we come back, it's the finals. Na'Vi versus Hellraiser's best of three. Winner comes out here to the Red Bull Esports Studio to compete. And well, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll see that next series.